The Supreme Court could rule soon on a case that could effectively overturn Roe versus Wade, a landmark ruling, of course, that's been in place for nearly 50 years. Yeah, a new documentary takes a look at the time before that decision. It's HBO's The Janes, and we'll meet a group of women known as Janes who helped women who want abortions to get them in a safe environment. Take a look. Women did awful things. They were literally dying because they were women. So we thought we can be of use. I said, we could use my phone, but change it so that they don't ask for Eleanor. How about Jane? Nobody's called Jane anymore. We had the phone numbers on bulletin boards around Chicago. Pregnant call Jane. Joining us now is the director and producer of The Janes, Emma Pildes, along with one of the members of The Janes, Diane Stevens. Thank you both for your time this morning and joining us. Emma, I'm going to start with you. You know, of course, we're at this time in this country where we're talking so much about this, given this waiver, this decision on Dobbs versus Jackson's Women's Health. Of course, this is still an issue that's quite divided this country. So tell us, what drew you to this story in the first place? What made you decide that you wanted to profile The Janes? just such an incredible story uh, and you know these women shy from from being called heroes um because they want women people to feel like they always have the option to to help other people but they are quite extraordinary in what they did and what they were willing to do um to fill the gap in our mm -hmm. medical system and um and the failures of our government to protect women and, and value women's lives um was pretty extraordinary, and and we wanted to tell the story, especially right now when we when we need this story the most. Diane, you were one of the many Janes in Chicago. Uh, how did the Jane Collective form, and what was the process like before Roe to make sure that women who were seeking an abortion had access to a safe system? Well, women would call our phone number, and we would provide counseling for them. We would give them all the education they needed to uh, get through the procedure and to take care of themselves afterwards. Uh, we actually learned how to do abortions. Uh, we were lay people. We were not medical people. Um, we learned how to do the abortions, and we protected the women that came to us for help. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.